making a component like this has its own complexities with a water jacket and the pocket here. So let's find out what Steve from HSM Components did in terms of getting new tooling, bespoke tooling and getting a solution. This video is about using partners to enable you to make complex parts. So, first of all, Steve, tried and tested engineers some fantastic components, but first of all, what are these here? Well, those are parts that I've had to make, tooling parts that I've had to make in order to produce this for the customer, because I can't buy them. Right, so like any good engineer, you've actually come up with a solution yourself? Yeah. Okay, I want to showcase some components that you make, though. Well, this one we're coming to in a minute. What are these in front of us here though? Well this is a, a dry sump kit off a motorcycle engine when they fit them in race cars and that's a, a low profile wet sump kit again for a motorcycle engine to go in cars and I, I make these parts already for a customer and that customer asked me to look at this engine block. Right we'll come to that in a minute but these are all being manufactured on three axis mill that's and correct. fixed head lathe? That's correct yes. So relatively straightforward machine tools in essence not the you know big five axis simultaneous machines. Yeah I'd love a five axis but I I can't afford one, can't justify one just yet. But you, you don't need just five one with the work you're doing on the three axis machine. So we're talking about partnership and that partnership was, is with? Quick grind on right. this job. How did it, I mean, <clears throat> you're doing these motorsport parts, how did this one come about? Well, this water jacket was going to be very difficult to cut. It's six mil wide and 50 mil deep. So you've, you've avoided making this part for a long time, is that right? Yeah, it's been on the back burner for a while. He asked me a while ago and he's, he's had stock, but obviously he's exhausted that stock now, so yeah. I've got to get on with it. So, um, so it's coming from overseas though? He was having these made by an overseas manufacturer and he had to order 10 at a time. So he'd got problems with lead times and also with some quality issues as well. So he knows the quality of my work, so he's wanted me to look at this as well. So Steve, come on, step up, you need to make this for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So, so what were the issues that... Well, it's a tooling issue. So I've looked at all the suppliers and I can't find the tools that I need to do this job, but to do this water thousands jacket. thousands of tools out there and loads I know, of big brochures. Nobody will, do, nobody will sell off the shelf items, so it's having bespoke ones made, specials. So who have you used? Quick How grind. Quick grind. Yeah. How did you find him then? Well, I'm connected with the sales guy, Mark Aspinall, on LinkedIn. So I got talking to him about it, put the question to him. He said, yeah, no bother, we'll come and see you. So we got chatting about this. I told him what my ideas were and how I wanted it. And he said, yeah, fine, we can make it. OK, so you've got two tools here. What were the issues and what was the solution? Well, most, most tools that you buy are the same diameter as the width of the slot, 6 mil. But I wanted to go slightly lower so that I could offset it and do a finishing pass to clean it up. Otherwise, I'd end up with a really rough finish. So they've come up with a five and a half mil cutter, which is solid on the shank, but deep enough to do, do the job. Right, but the, fl the, the flute itself, not very long. No, because you're only running on the, the very tip of the cutter. So you don't need a big flute. So that allows you to have a solid body, so you've got a lot more strength in the tool then. Right, and it's a long tool as well yeah. in comparison to diameter. So. Yeah, it'll go down 50 mil, 52 mil, that. Impressive stuff. This is the solution then for that problem? Yeah, this pocket on the end was even worse than the slot because it's deeper. And it's tapered front and back from one side, so I've got to go all the way through from one side. I can't do it either side. So. Quick Grind came up with a solution. They gave me um, a cutter which was seven and a half mil diameter, and it's neck back to seven. And again, the same as the other cutter, you only need the flutes on the end, so that you end up with a solid body, so you've got strength in it. And um, it's done the job, brilliant. Steve, as I said, it's performed brilliantly, but a bespoke tool. Turnaround times? Two to three weeks, yeah. Okay, so yeah. from initial conversation, yeah, they, they delivered these within two weeks. Brilliant. OK, I'm thinking that's going to be an expensive solution. Not really, no. You, you have to have three made because it's a, a special. And at the time it takes to do one, you may as well have three. Well, that's a good thing because I've got spares. OK, have you actually broken any yet? No, no. So great endorsement of what Quick Grind are doing. So there you have it, a solution working close together with partnerships to come up with fantastic components like this. Steve at HSM Components.